Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to share one of our family favorites, the shrimp egg fried rice. Fried rice and I go way back. Growing up in Mumbai, I was absolutely crazy about fried rice. That was and still is such a major part of street food. You can make this fried rice with any of your favorite vegetables. It is such an irresistibly delicious dish. So let's get cooking. We start off first by making the base for the dish, which is the rice. So I'm going to make boiled rice. For that, I've got water, which I've boiled into a pot and I'm adding salt. Now salt is very important. Uh, many chefs actually avoid putting salt into the water. But what that happens is you get a boiled rice which has got no flavor. So salt is very key. I also like to soak my rice, wash and soak my rice for a good 25 to 30 minutes in warm water. So that helps the rice grain to actually swell up. So when you boil the rice in uh, water, what you get is a very evenly cooked rice. You also cook the rice a little faster. The best way to check the rice to see if it is cooked is to take a grain between your index finger and your thumb and press it gently. If there is a slight firm texture in the center, means the rice is almost ready. There is enough heat in the rice for it to be drained off and for it to continue to cook and get the perfect boiled rice. Before we cook the stir fried rice, I like to make an egg preparation with that. I think the egg gives a very nice flavor and a taste to the fried rice. This is what I remember having as a childhood on the kiosk and in restaurants and it just tastes beautiful with that. The whole combination of the egg with the vegetables, with the prawn, with the rice really works well. So whisk a couple of eggs, a little salt of course and whisk it till it's nice and smooth. You don't want any strands of the albumin coming in so that will create white rashes or white particles of the egg when you cook it. I'm using sesame oil here uh, to cook in. You can use olive oil or you can use any cooking oil which you may have in your home. But just make sure that the oil is slightly warm, never too hot and obviously not cold at all. So then goes in our egg into the warm oil and this is going to be lightly sauteed or lightly stirred till you find, till you actually make large chunks of the egg. Not like a scrambled egg and not like an omelette but just into large pieces. So when you actually eat it, all these textures are very important. You can see the egg and the rice, you get to eat it. It tastes very, very nice. The combination of egg with the prawns and with the rice is just divine. Moving on to the vegetables, we're going to slice the vegetables all into thin slices, starting off with red onion. I like to use red onion because they have less moisture content. They have a very nice color and they also hold their shape and are still firm even after cooking. Carrots peeled and cut into thin strips. It gives a very nice color and also gives a very nice crunch, a very nice texture to the rice. Spring onion, both the white bulbs and the green are going to go into the rice. I will reserve some of the greens at the last to put as garnish. But again, visually the colors are very nice and that's very important. Now we start making the rice dish. First add a small quantity of sesame oil slightly warm it up and in that goes in the garlic paste. Now garlic gives a very nice flavor to the rice. Uh, you can use chopped garlic if you like that's perfectly okay it works. Uh, you can also add ginger if you like ginger but I just like to put garlic in this case. Sliced red onions and lightly saute them. You don't want to discolor the onions and you don't want them to lose their shape and become very limp. They want them to be firm. And then goes in our peeled, washed prawns. Now the prawns are grey in colour when they are raw. And when you cook them and you heat them into oil and you saute them with spices and with onions, they actually begin to change colour, they turn pink. And that is when you know that the prawns are cooked. Also because you are cooking into the oil along with onions and garlic, uh, the prawns ooze out their liquid and the flavours into the pan. And that is how you actually also get a nice flavour of the prawns. Then goes in our sliced carrots sorted them lightly and blanched green peas and blanched corn kernels. You can use fresh or frozen but make sure they're blanched first. I like to add uh, sweet chilli sauce. You get those lovely Thai sweet chilli sauce which has a kind of sweetness and uh, sourness and spiciness it works well. And then the rice, our steamed rice or the boiled rice. If you always have any extra rice at home you can use that. Never put a piping hot rice into it, it has to be a room temperature. Even a cold rice would work well. But then make sure you put a lid on the dish to make sure your rice is warm through. 
then goes in the egg and at last goes in soya sauce and spring onion greens the soya sauce has a very high salt content so when you're adding salt in the dish just be a little careful you don't want to over season or over salt the dish mix it together and the soya sauce begins to release its colors into the rice dish taste it and if you need more salt add some more salt the colors are already looking so nice it's so inviting for me at this stage when i'm cooking at home i just love to take a spoon or two and have a go with the rice i just love that rice is ready so there goes in our prawn and egg fried rice into a bowl all set to be enjoyed and to garnish it some spring onion greens there we have that is our shrimp and egg fried rice with some carrot green peas corn and spring onion bon appetit do enjoy and leave your comments on the section below